In this video, we'll talk about the keto diet and cancer. Cancer has turned into a serious disease in our modern society. While cancer was not a large factor before the 20th century, it did exist, of course. Our modern diet and sedentary lifestyle have made cancer the second primary cause of death, with 1,600 Americans dying from this disease every day. It appears that our bodies do not react well to being exposed to daily toxins. While any cancer treatment must be guided by your physician, it's a good idea to discuss the keto diet and what it can do to help the treatment of this disease. A cancer-specific keto diet may consist of as much as 90% fat. There's a very good reason for that. What doctors do know is that cancer cells feed off carbohydrates and sugar. That's what helps them grow and multiply in number. As we've seen, the keto diet dramatically reduces our carbohydrate and sugar consumption as our metabolism is altered. What the keto diet does, in essence, is remove the food on which the cancer cells feed and starves them. The result is that the cancer cells may die, multiply at a slower rate, or decrease. Another reason why a keto diet is able to slow down the growth of cancer cells is that by reducing calories, cancer cells have less energy to develop and grow in the first place. Insulin also helps cells grow. Since the keto diet lowers insulin levels, it slows down the growth of tumorous cells. When on the keto diet, the body produces ketones. While the body is fueled by ketones, cancerous cells are not. Therefore, a state of ketosis may help reduce the size and growth of cancer cells. One study monitored the growth of tumors in patients suffering from cancer of the digestive tract. Of those patients who received a high carbohydrate diet, tumors showed a 32.2% in growth. Patients on a keto diet showed a 24.3% growth in their tumor. The difference is quite significant. Another study involved five patients who combined chemotherapy with a keto diet. Three of these patients went into remission. Two patients showed a progression of the disease when they went off the keto diet. More studies are needed, but these numbers are encouraging. The keto diet may help prevent cancer from occurring in diabetic patients in the first place. People with diabetes have a higher risk level to develop cancer due to elevated blood sugar levels. Since the ketogenic diet is extremely effective at decreasing the levels of blood sugar, it may prevent the initial onset of cancer. From what research has discovered so far, the ketogenic diet may stop the growth of cancer cells, help replace cancerous cells with healthy cells, change the body's metabolism and enable the body to starve cancer cells by depriving them of needed nutrition. By lowering the body's insulin level, the ketogenic body may prevent the onset of cancer cells. On a ketogenic diet specifically for cancer, your fat should be at 75 to 90%, protein 15 to 20% and less than 5% carbohydrates. Foods to eat eggs, including yolks, all green leafy vegetables, as well as cauliflower, avocado, mushrooms, peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes. When choosing dairy, opt for a full fat version of cheeses, butter, sour cream, yogurt, and milk. Eat nuts such as walnuts, almonds, filberts, and sunflower and pumpkin seeds. Foods to eat in moderation. Have one helping of root vegetables, such as yams, parsnips, carrots, and turnips every day. Fruits contain sugar, so treat them like candy, one small piece per day. A glass of wine, vodka, whiskey, and brandy, once a week. No cocktails with sugars. A small piece of chocolate with 75% or higher cocoa content, once a week. Foods to avoid. Any food containing sugar, including cereals, soft drinks, juices and sports drinks, candies and chocolate. Limit artificial sweeteners as much as possible. Starchy foods such as pasta and potatoes, breads, potato chips and french fries, cooking oils and margarine. All beers.